Hi, so here's uh, my um, video on the 240 volt um, system in the motor caravan. Um, there's actually two totally separate systems. There's a 240 volt system, which you can see up here, which I've uh, highlighted pink for you. And then the rest of it is the 12 volt electrics, which is the, the green bit uh, further down on this plan here. There's one small exception where we've got the um, 12 volt to 240 sockets on the inverter um, but that's really a totally separate circuit so what we'll be looking at today is the pink area at the top here um, and you can see that it's really there's two totally separate systems um, the pink one basically we've got in here that's where your power lead comes in the 240 volts AC and an hook up lead that comes to your consumer unit, which is basically we've got the um, residual current devices, and um, there's an earth there to the vehicle chassis. Um, and um, then from your consumer unit come uh, your loads or your feeds to your sockets, which is the double sockets there, and a single socket where. Um, I've got plugged in a 240 to 12 volt battery charger and um, then that feeds in on the green system to charge the battery with 12 volts off the hookup so this is actually a smart charger unit um, and um, when it's, it can be plugged in all the time when the thing's uh, on 240 volts hooked up and it, it won't matter because if the battery is fully charged it will just uh, switch off and then monitor the charge so basically that's the setup I use, I usually have this charger pull plugged in all the time but if, for any reason I don't want to charge while I'm on 240 volt it's very similar, simple just to unplug this here so having looked at basically the um, pink area um, on, the, on the plan um, we'll now go out and have a look and see how these things are actually um, connected up on the van and I'll explain a bit about the, the wiring um, so um, we'll go out now okay so uh, here we are uh, outside of the van and um, the second little bit of the uh, 240 volt uh, electrics having seen the wiring diagram just now you can see everything in there is uh, working, that's all working off uh, 240 volt or the inverter um, nothing's working off the battery uh, direct off the battery at the moment so here's the um, hook up point quite easy to fit in these um, you just cut a hole in the body and um, putting masking tape round to the size of your little hook up unit I'll just take that out so you can have a little bit of look at it I mean they're uh, very standard sort of accessories um, get them from uh, any caravan shop stick that back in there there we go so your power comes in there off the hookup cable either from the house or from um, the campsite um, and that hookup point is attached by there's a grey cable there which comes through there it goes up through this underneath the mattress there and down into the uh, consumer unit there there's the consumer unit, there's the cable coming in now you must have one of these um, consumer units it contains the um, residual current devices so if you get any earth leakage for example then then your cables will um, the current will uh, be cut off so it's an essential um, safety feature to to have one of these. I've just taken that off so you can have a look at the wiring. Basically it comes in at the top here. I'm not going to go too near it because it's live. <laughs> um, it comes in through this main switch here which is the main cut off uh, and it's a push to test that and then it will flick off and you can put it back on. It comes back up through these two um, uh, also they're cut off switches uh, and then you feed your loads or um, in uh, normal terms there's, there's a sort of circuits you're going to um, 
uh, attached to it, which is your plugs and anything else you're going to put off. You feed them off these top two points here. So there's a neutral point there, earth point. It's a three wire system like a normal um, household electrics. And you can see off one of them, I've fed a little um, spur here. Um, this is off this low one, which is, I think, it's a six amp circuit, that one. This is a 16 amp circuit, this one here. I fed just one spur uh, and that feeds my battery charger. A couple of wires go straight into the battery box, it's hooked up all the time. If I want to switch it off at any point, I just can switch it off at the switch or take the plug out. Or I can put another plug in there if I want to use some appliance from the garage. And then from there, from this um, main circuit box again, the consumer unit, you've got the two feeds, one going off, which goes around the garage and underneath the sort of silver oval there you can just maybe see the grey wire going into the uh, twin plugs behind which I'll show you in a minute on the other side and then the other one that one zips off um, to feed some more sockets so let's just go around the 240 volt electrics actually is one of the easiest parts of wiring up your your motorhome it's completely separate from the um, 12 volt system now on the other side here's my one of my um, two pin dual sockets the other one comes there and that feeds you know my lamp and um, laptop and all sorts of things like that I've also got this extra pair of sockets here that's actually fed off the inverter so when I'm not off the hookup that comes direct off the inverter there I can use the power um, from the inverter to power that um, little additional socket and I've got another socket here I've fitted that's very useful for the kitchen appliances that sort of thing you know especially when you put this extra work surface up a little microwave on there or something again if I just it's all on the same sort of cable this um, grey cable which incidentally you have to use the right sort of cable this is what I've used it's the uh, Wix 2.5mm squared twin earth ring main cable 23 amp um, a good rule of thumb is 1mm squared will take about 10 amps so you can see 2.5 23 amps and 23 amps is more than enough it's much bigger uh, than the residual current device I think that's a, a 16 amp supply much bigger than any of the fuses so the idea is obviously you've got fuses and residual circuit breakers um, in your system which will be a lower rating than that of your cable but it is important to use the right cable and I say if you're not sure about wiring anything up then um, I would definitely consult um, a qualified electrician or at least get your circuits checked by um, a qualified electrician everything is earthed, it's earthed to the van um, chassis I probably didn't show you that, you, you, you might if you go back to the um, part where we saw looked at the consumer unit you can probably see the earth cable so that's that's earth to the, the van chassis so um, it's got the full safety features you'd expect in a normal house really you've got a residual current device um, you've got fuses you've got the correct size cable um, and you've got an earth um, so that's really how I've done my 240 volt electrics the inverter of course which I also mentioned in the um, video there that's on at the moment you can see that's the top one see the green light indicating that's on that's just run straight off the battery and that will give me 240 volts and those sockets there or those ones there anytime I want them okay so that's been 240 volt electrics next time we'll look at how we wire that up in conjunction with the um, 12 volt electrics which is that uh, top panel there. 12 volt electrics are a little bit more difficult to do perhaps but still it's not too bad if you take it uh, sort of wire by wire I'm hoping to show you exactly how that can be achieved. Till next time, see you later.